night, we are back at Night of a Million Lights here at Give Kids the World. They said it's even better than last year. So last year was amazing. That was our first time here. Yeah. They said that the lights actually sync to the music this year. I can already kind of see what's going on right now. It's cool. I'm super excited. Let's go check it out. So different than last year, you actually have to park in a different parking lot and then you have a shuttle that'll take you to the actual Give Kids the World. And then this is where the bus drops you off, which is the old parking lot that we were parked in last year. In fact, it was right over there. Wow, they've already got this decked out so far. And they said there's over 3 million lights. So it's really night of 3 million lights. Now we're walking under this here. Look at that, that's insane. Also, they give you this map. I don't know how well you can read it, but it gives you an idea of where everything's at. I'm gonna try to do like I did in my last year's video, show you most of the houses, see who sponsors each house as well. And right here, when we make it all the way back out, they've added this year event merchandise. That's really awesome. Getting our navigation. <gasps> Here's a song. <laughs> Forget the map for a second. We really love Give Kids the World. It's such a great cause, so it's awesome to come out here. Here is some signage. Dancing light show, what? And you can see how the lights turn on and off. This is such a great shot too with the water and the lights reflecting off the water. Along the way here, they have these stars. This is Wish Kid Isabella. And this is Wish Kid Lillian. Oh, they just started a new song to go with Look at this. They also have these little snack stations right here. Perfect photo op right there. The wish tree illuminates to represent each of our visiting wish children stars placed in our castle of miracles. This is unreal. I don't even know how to film this here because there's just so much going on. Oh, wow. It looks like it's just kind of this area because down here is where the sponsored houses are, so. So after they get done with the show, now they just kind of keep the lights on like this. And here's a menu as well. You got popcorn and Pepsi products. And you can see they just have the houses blink until they get one of their shows going. Okay, and then right here, enter to win a Paradise Grills flagship Tahiti Island Bar and Grill Station valued at 35 000. That's something you can win right there. Okay, at this one, Donner's Tailgate, they've got Boston Market serving food. Yeah, they've upped the game this year. They've got a lot more than last year. Holy cow. Welcome to the South Pole. The Santa's Attic. Looks like it's got some more merchandise over here as well let's go take a peek inside you can see night of a million lights their shirts are 21.95 give kids the world wow that's neat they also have this cozy little blanket as well as a hat and some of these little lights where you can or some of these little glasses where you can see the different designs in the lights. So you got a Christmas star, reindeer, candy cane, gingerbread, snowman. And then right on down from there is the icy Blitzen's Blizzard Treats. There's the prices of that. And then this house is where Santa Claus is at, but check out the theming here. It looks like a snowman built out of sand, Sandman with actual sand on the ground. And right next to that snowman, Santa Claus meet and greet hour. Santa is home currently. What's cool is all of the sand leading into Santa and the surfboards. So you can kind of see one inside one of their villas. Santa's gonna be somewhere over that way. All right, we're actually not gonna go in to see Santa. I just wanna try to get a view of what the process was and what it looked like he was in that back room. And then there was a lot of little kids, so not older kids like like us. Just another view of Santa Claus's 
house. We can continue going this way. House number one, you can see Walt Disney World. Of course, they're celebrating the 50th, so this is going to be a really, well, they're all good. I can't just pick one. Oh, it's a small world. And then over here, look at the tree. It's got Mickey all over the tree. It's a small world on this side too. What else? What else do we see at the Disney one? Through the window, they have Walt. Look at that. And then they have this really cool photo op right here. Over here, you have the Hasbro Bring Home the Fun. Pretty neat. I think we're gonna just go back and forth. Did you see the fire hydrant? I think we saw this last year. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Look. Harry Potter. That's so cool. It's really cool all the facts they have about Give Kids the World. Now on this side we have Margaritaville. Oh, and it's got cornhole boards out in front. That's awesome. Look at all of the, it's got Welcome to Margaritaville, all the places. They have one. Margaritaville chair, palm tree. Look at the cornhole boards. A flip flop, that's cool. Season's greetings from Margaritaville. And that little cart decorated. And then across the street, they've got SeaWorld, which has this whale tail. And they've got kind of the blue and white theme going on. Some more of the Margaritaville. The, like they've got places marked where you can have a photo spot. On top of the little Margaritaville golf cart, They've got a margarita right there. Here was the Sea World. Over here is going to be Enterprise. But then over this way, there's Stellar's Tree Trail. So we're wondering if we should do that now and see where it pops out at. And this one's Happy Holidays Minion Universal Resort. Wow, they went all out too. We'll have to look at that one. We're actually going to come back and do this on our way back. But look at all the Universal. Holy cow. minions see the minions in the window over here look at the huge banana <laughs> this is really cool they've got all the stuff in the windows all these minions wow we're getting into some lego land again enterprise they're just taking photos there's photo ops everywhere there's games being won christmas music who wouldn't love this Look how they made the road. That is really neat. Just something so simple as looks like a road. And then here is Legoland and it shows the Legoland holiday days. Now we didn't go this year and we're not going to go this year, but I do have a video of last year at Legoland, which might look a little different than it does this year based on how different Give Kids the World looks right now. Here's water fun game, water gun fun. You can win some prizes. Oh, here we go. I love this because they had it last year, the runway. This one's the American Airlines sponsored house. <laughs> They've got the little baggage uh, cart, car thing. Some elves loading some gifts. The big American Airlines symbol and their colors. And then right across from that, ooh, this one's very pretty. All the classic white light travel plus leisure club. Looks like they got Greece, Eiffel Tower. That one's a cool one. And then right next to it, we have the 
Ripley's Believe It or Not house. The Peel car, the world's smallest car to ever go into production. Believe it or not. This one's probably the most interactive one so far. They have all these little places that you can put your head for photo ops. And then they have this ginormous Santa suit thing that you can put your head in. We're gonna get a demonstration right now. Look at that, that's hilarious. They've got Robert Wadlow, which is the tallest man. Somebody stuck in a tree there. You can actually go in here and there's that photo op there. They've got all of these statues that tell what they are. And here's some more of their little people they have out here. A few more. Oh, and then this big rocking chair and <laughs> Tom Thumb. More photo ops. And the rest of their house, uh, upside down Christmas tree. Another little, ooh, look at those pretzels. Another little snack place. And this one is the iTech Entertainment. This was a good one last year. Yeah, time. and they're the ones, from what I remember, that did the windows yeah. on the universal oh, hogwarts yeah. train when you sit on the train and you see the different scenes and so this one has the cute little christmas look at the yard though let me just the cute little like christmas cat mouse thing in the windows let's see if it shows it here it is here go here comes the cat That is too cool. Now this is something different than what they had last year. Mayor Clayton's Tram Tours. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Okay, perfect, thanks. So there's a tram ride that they take you, oh, instead of walking at all, I bet. It looks like they take you on a tram all around these. Huh, this is, Interesting. Look at that. I love how they did the fence. Wow. Right, look, here's the PGA Tour house. Yep. Thank you. Here's everybody, PGA Tour. Then down here we have. Perkins restaurant. Looks like we're gonna hop on this tram. Okay. It looks like you can sit across from each other, so it doesn't matter. So this is new. <laughs> Here is the tram. So that must be the Crayola one. Oh, oh, perfect. Right. Perkins, huge chocolate covered strawberry, and the mixer, the mirrors. Chick fil A. Hello. And it's nice and quiet tram too, like it's not like 
Uh, oh yeah, that place is fun up there. Yeah, they give you a little story about Give Kids the World while while you're on the tram. So what's cool is they do a lap so you can see both sides. Adjacent star tower as a permanent reminder of every child's 
special dish. Venues designed to engage and delight every member of the family, including two wheelchair accessible pools and Jack's wacky waterworks splash pad. <laughs> Can you guess how many? This is where they had all the free hot chocolate and stuff last year. To our weekly once upon a village pirates, princesses, and mermaids party, and also hosts diving movies. Appreciated more than you know. To learn more about volunteering, making a donation, and that was the end of the tram ride. That was really cool. Please visit www.gktw.org. Okay, so we just got off and now you're able to go back through this way. Wow. Thank you. Return to Dancing Light Show. They do have a lot of these QR codes that you can text to donate. We've got all these lights. Oh, the little book things there. Sure, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's a little section of blow-ups. <laughs> hey, Christmas vacation. Oh, that's neat. Hot cocoa. Oh, there's, look at that. Oh, the, the station wagon, Christmas vacation. Whoa, NASA. Look at that. Now you're back out by, oh, you're back out by Disney World. So now the Disney World house, not Disney World itself, but now we're gonna go down and do the Christmas tree stroll. All right, we're back over here at the Stellar's Tree Trail. Oh yeah, and they're all decorated with different, like Disney campers family. Toys for Tots. Look at all of these trees. There's a lot more trees this year than last year. Oh, got Gatorland with gators. Can't really show every single one of them because there are so many. Yeah, I mean, there's so many trees. All sponsored QR code on one that's really cool Chick-fil-a that's cool and this brings you out to this area you can see this is one of the songs that the houses uh, dance to little kids playground area that they can all go run around on it's Matthew's Boundless Playground. Look at this one. Wow. Another photo op up here, Night of a Million Lights. So here's that photo op. We took a picture of it and I'll put that in right now. So cool. Oh, I think a show's coming. Oh, yeah.
here's this little bakery cart. And I think this event merchandise is gonna be a lot like it was. Yeah, it looks like the same sort of stuff that they had earlier that we walked in. You have time slots you're supposed to get here and once you get in those time slots, you can essentially say as long as you need to, which they're very efficient this year. It doesn't take super long. So just for reference, there's the entrance slash exit. We went all the way around this way. The tram takes you. You can then do the tree stroll, which is over here. And that takes you around this way. Here's, oh, whoa, military. <laughs> Yeah, nice. <laughs> Look at all the lights, that's so cool. visiting Night of a Million Lights. And now we head back to the shuttles. So that'll take us back to the parking lot. All right, that was our trip out to Night of a Million Lights or a zillion lights here at <laughs> Give Kids, <laughs> three million, here at Give Kids the World. I have to say they way outdid themselves. I didn't think it'd be better than last year, but this year they had time to be organized and it was fantastic. Yeah, it was, really it was cool great. What we realized was when we they have the tram this year because we believe there's still kids here at Give Kids the World. And so instead of interfering with their trip, they have the tram that takes you around. And I also think that's why the pool didn't have the hot chocolate like it did yeah. last year because I'm sure the kids still use the pool. So they found a way to still have the Night of a Million Lights yeah. plus still let kids come and stay. So it's awesome. I love this place. Yeah, it's so. very cool. Yeah, with Definitely that. Definitely an annual trip for us. Oh, for sure. I will be back every year. I love it. It's so great. Overall, great cause, great event. Gets you in the Christmas spirit. And if you can make it out to this event, please do so. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.